Hi class, so what I want to do in this uh, video is walk you through challenge exercise 7.1.4 and there's three options here. So I'm just going to do problem number two for you here and you can see how the other two are going to uh, follow. They're roughly the same. So for each of these, what it says is it says click this link here to download the spreadsheet for this data. Okay. And you'll see here that, that there's just a bunch of numbers. So this is the what the data relates to. A bank has a policy that the proportion of loans made to people with more than $50,000 in debt should not be more than 0.05. So it shouldn't be more than 15%. So the bank checks a randomly chosen sample of 75 customers' debts amounts to determine if the proportion is more than 0.15. And it says at, at the significance level of 0.05. Okay, so we're going to use this sheet uh, to calculate P hat, Z score, and the P value. Okay. So to do that, we need to calculate p hat first. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this data and I'm going to sort it. I'm going to go from high to low. And what we're interested in is the number of people who are above fifty thousand dollars in debt. And you can see it's the first thirteen cells here. So my x there's thirteen people. N was seventy five. So my p hat here is just 13 divided by 75 and you get 0 0.173. So see how it says go to three decimal places? I'll do that. 0 0.173. All right, now we need to calculate the z-score. But to do that, what we, we should do is we should actually set up the test. So we're going to let p be equal to the proportion of loans to individuals with more than 50,000 in debt. And what we want to test is to see if it's greater than 15%. So our null will be that it is equal to 15%. And the alternative is we're going to be investigating is no way. We want to see if it's greater than 15. So our z-score here. Well, we know that, that 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 is equal to p hat minus p sub 0, which is 0 0.15 divided by the square root of 0 0.15 times 1 minus 0 0.15, let's close that parentheses, that is divided by the sample size, which is 75 in this case. And you could see here that it's going to be 0 0.566 when I round it. All right, so now it's going to ask for the p-value here. All right, well, because this is a right tail test, this is going to be 1 minus norm.s.dist, our z-score, comma, 1. And it looks like this is 0 0.286 when I round it here. Okay, so since the p-value is greater than our level of significance, okay, the null hypothesis fails to be rejected, right? So what that means is insufficient evidence exists that the proportion of loans with people um, with more than $50,000 debt is more than 0 0.15, okay? And you can see we got it. So it's a, it's a little bit, it's a lot like the previous videos that I've been doing. It's just that they give you the Excel spreadsheet and they ask you to actually like go through and count the data to get p hat here. But otherwise, it's just like the, the previous video I did as well. 